truth is, it's really amazing that I ended up back in church at all with everything that went on, at, you know, at Faith Temple. One thing I was clearly mistaken about was the idea that I had found me a new friend or someone who understood me or someone who didn't think that there was something wrong with what I was thinking or what we were doing. Because immediately after it was over, he said that we had to make sure that we didn't tell anyone. No one, no one could know. Hey, best man, hey, best. Oh, bless God, bless God, bless God. Uh, how you doing? How you doing? You got me annoying, no one. I said, I said, where are you? Oh, oh I'm, I'm, I'm right out here at your back gate. I just wanted to come and talk with you and pray with you. I, I just got out of jail. Bless God, bless God. Ch <laughs> Chando little bull say I. <laughs> he said, well, Pat, Pat, you got, any, you got any food in there? Anything? What, what you cook today? <laughs> so after all of that, then he says, well, I just you know God's been speaking to me and, and um, you know, I know, I know that, uh, you know, I, the Lord has told me homosexuality is wrong and I just know that God's going to bring you out. He's going to send your wife. <laughs> he said, I'm just believing God. I'm just believing God. I just, I know you're a powerful man. I said, deliverance. And so I, and I just kind of sat back. I was like, okay, here you are. <laughs> Asking me for help, but you're gonna come and tell me how I'm living is wrong. <laughs> I, I said, I believe in deliverance. He's gonna deliver you right off my doorstep. That's what he's gonna do. I said, I said, God's gonna deliver me uh, from, from homosexuality, but he ain't gonna deliver you from writing high checks. <laughs> Keep your mind on me, on me. Keep your mind on me. Somewhere in there. Um, did he just try to tell me how to sing my song? The song that I wrote 24 years ago. We walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. I can't go by what it looks like. There is a way that seems it right to man the destruction. You can say what's on your mind without This is only the fourth episode. I'm actually kind of tired of the cameras being on already. A couple of weeks off because my ends wasn't right. I had to save us some money to go back in the studio because, you know, Doug charges $40 an hour and uh, he's got a two hour minimum uh, to book time. So I gotta have $80 every time I go into the studio with Doug. And, uh, you know, I'm not rich, so. Um, uh, I haven't been in the studio for a while. I ride the bus. My money was funny and my change was strange. I go to the laundromat. All that preachers of LA foolishness that they be showing on TV, uh, that ain't what's going on over here. I ain't got it like that all the time. It is uh, an exercise in uh, uh, patience and uh, endurance. 
and not giving up. If you want anything in life, you're going to have to learn how to press. Sometimes you get discouraged. Facebook. Ain't nobody talking to me. Nobody cares about my stuff right now. Truth. You're going to have to learn how to be happy for yourself. Because everybody ain't going to be happy for you. What are they talking about over here? Who are these people? Excuse me, everybody. Derek, Jake, everyone. I got an announcement to make, and I got my friends here to help me out. Guys, hit it. I am quitting this job today. Quit too. Mm. But you've got to pick yourself up and get back in the momentum and don't give up. Uh, I've been out of pocket for a few weeks and I do apologize for that, but there's been so much going on and I have to get you caught up. Well, while I've been gone, um, uh, my friend Marsha Henderson. Just keep on listening. So it's her CD dropped on March the 1st. So I'm encouraging you to pick up a copy of uh, Marsha Henderson's Stepping Into My Season, a new CD release. I got to play keyboards for her at her CD release party on March the 1st, and it was just an awesome time. The room was filled with the anointing, and this CD is a collection of songs that is from her heart, and I'm encouraging you to pick up your copy. We'll tell you how to pick up a copy a little bit later. Just check it out. You can get on Facebook, and you can find it online. Just look up uh, Marsha Sims Henderson. Uh, on Facebook and you can um, uh, write her directly and you can find out how to get a copy your own copy of uh, her new CD release stepping into my season you want to check it out it's awesome this awesome awesome experience happened all throughout this project I have been asking God please just lead me to the right people and and if you know anything about me it it's not a good thing for me to lose momentum so I've been asking the Lord just to connect me with the right people to help me get this project done so that he would get the glory but all things being done in the Lord's timing right and I had an awesome experience while I was playing for uh, Marsha's uh, CD release I got to meet this guy named Michael Ferguson we got to talking uh, and I asked him uh, what he does uh, for a living and he told me that he's a full-time producer just to dance with you is all I really want to do uh yeah and so i was like wow i got to, uh, sharing with him about you know this the cd that i'm working on right now and trying to get things squared away trying to get things done and he's like bro don't even worry about it i'll help you get your cd done for free <laughs> how good my god is to me
and how God just worked things out. You know, you know, sometimes when you have things going on and you, you want things to have progress and you want people to, to, to be a part of your dream and a part of your vision and sometimes people quit on you and sometimes people leave, but you hold on to what God said and he will come through. It is worth it to serve the Lord, to put your trust in him and never, ever, ever give up. Studio today, so uh, I'm out here getting ready to head out to Garland. Come on, come on, take a ride with me. fast forward to the end of the story you know the only point of re really telling these stories is uh, you know I, I don't really like to dredge up the past and, to, and dwell on the past there's so many great things that God is doing in my life right now 
and I promise it's going to be like a full-fledged interview, and I'm going to hash out all of this stuff because, you know, the, the, the Word of God does say that we overcome by the Word of our testimony and the things that we've been through when we tell our stories, it helps uh, somebody else overcome. And one of the purposes of this uh, whole reality show is to demonstrate that in spite of and including who I am, that God is still operating in my life and blessing me and opening up doors and, and helping me to overcome the obstacles in my life to, be, to bring me to this place of being able to uh, release music and, and join in the chorus of worshiping God and, and knowing that it is not impossible, that there's nothing impossible with God Nothing shall be impossible. And so, uh, I don't tell these stories to make anybody look bad. I don't tell these stories to to cast dispersions on my upbringing in the church. Yes, there were things that went on that, that, that shouldn't have gone on. There were things I've seen that I shouldn't have seen. I'm challenged every day by the thought of the things that I've come through. Uh, the good and the bad and the things that the enemy used to try to destroy me and to try to keep these very events in my life from happening yes yes I, I, I've been sexually abused and, 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 and yes I had struggles growing up in the church yes I became a drug addict which which eventually led me into homelessness and Yes, I've been kicked out of church for being gay and and, 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 and all the struggles that uh, come along with identifying and coming to terms with myself and being a gay man and, and being a Christian and being a follower of Christ. And yes, I hear what the preachers say. Yes, I heard what Donnie McClurkin said. Yes, I heard what Kirk Franklin said. Yes, I hear what Mary Mary says. But I'm telling you, I also hear what the Spirit of God is saying to me. And the Spirit of the Lord would say that there ought not to be not one more black, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, man, woman, boy, or girl that should die or feel alienated or rejected because of, because of faulty teachings that have been presented by preachers who refuse to take a closer look at the scriptures. Not on my watch. Not while this calling is alive in me. I will declare to the end that I am a living witness that as a gay black man who is called of the Lord, I hear his voice. Therefore, I am one of his sheep. What the Bible tells me is that it is the spirit that testifies with my spirit that I am indeed a child of God, called from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, that in spite of everything that I've come through, everything that was spoken against my life, everything that people told me that I was not going to be able to do, God still called me out and called me and set me apart to to live a life of righteousness and an example before people called me to be a pastor called me to be a gospel artist and a gospel musician so i have a choice now the old wine and song out of the book of joshua said it best choose you this day whom you will serve will it be god or will it be man? I have a choice today. I have a choice of whether I will heed the voice of the Lord or I can choose to succumb to fear of what man has said. And I tell you today, I have chosen to serve the Lord. The Bible says that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish but they shall have everlasting life. If you would choose to believe and confess the Lord Jesus Christ today, no matter who you are, you can be a servant of the Lord. You can have that blessed assurance, whether you're gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgendered, straight, or whoever you are, black, white, boy, girl, you can know today. Just accept Christ today. Invite Christ into your life and know 
It's by faith and not by works, lest any man should boast. Know that the provision of salvation was made for every human being, and it's available to you. God bless you. I'm here as a living witness. You keep watching and you keep seeing what God is doing in my life and using me as an example of his grace that is shed abroad to all men and all women, all people. Know that God loves you and he has a plan for you. God bless you. I want to share a little piece of my music with you. Can I do that? Just so you'll know that God is still accomplishing great things, even in the life of this gay black man. Amen. God bless you. <laughs> Circumstances all around you, all around you. seem to overwhelm your soul. But if you keep your mind stayed on to me, See, I'm your call. See, I'm your call.